Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining today to hear about the Mind Body Temperament Balancing Program. And we're here with our member and what I like to call co creator, Heather. And Heather was very eager to share her experience that she's had. She's not been officially working with any of our physicians, but she was very curious about this program to help her on her journey of self-awareness, introspection, healing, etc. So we're here to get some information from her. So the first question I have that I know a lot of people don't really necessarily get right off the bat is what is this and what is um, corrective energy, it can be homeopathic, it can be other um, corrective therapies. What, what does that really mean for you? Or where did you, where were you understanding? Where was your understanding coming into this? Um, I have been uh, researching the world of healing for a good long time, um, probably the, the last decade, healing from um, childhood trauma, mm -hmm. uh, healing from um, waking up to waking up in a world where I felt that I wanted to get a greater understanding of myself. Like you said, introspection. Um, I am a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a writer. So basically I live in a very artistic type of lifestyle. I, I see the world um, through a lens that most, um, as I'm finding out, do not. So, um, you know, and, and healing this whole health and wellness falls in this world of, of artistry as well. So not only do I research it, I really find it interesting. But in my own life, to, to put the to apply it into my own life as well, um, and open a, it, it helps me to see the world through a more creative lens. So that being said, um, this work was not only interesting, but being able to integrate it and apply it in my own life helped me to experience a level of freedom that I really never expected. And did you know what energetic therapies or vibrational therapies we sometimes use homeopathy, which is really a corrective vibrational therapy. And sometimes we use other preparations that are vibrational or energetic. Did that appeal to you or did that seem weird? Or did you understand like how your body and your being would have this interaction relationship, um, corrective shifting? Like, did you already get that? Cause that's, I mean, from my perspective, that's really what this does but people coming into it don't necessarily have that ground to operate from to really understand what that means. So I'm just, if you could just share with the audience here. Yeah. So that's ex actually what drew me to this work. And, and I, I call it work because um, it, the, as a singer, as a songwriter, a soundsmith and a wordsmith, these things matter to me. I actually mm. believe that sounds matter. They do, they matter in the physical presence. So in terms of homeopathy, the resonance of said remedy to, to be in resonance with whatever um, chaos was happening in my body, whatever anxiety, whatever melancholy, whatever depression, whatever was shifting in my body where I felt that I could not handle it, mm -hmm. that this work brought me to it. I immediately resonated to mind, body, temperament, balancing, thinking, wow, this isn't such like a magic pill. This is actually a program that I can subtly tune my instrument. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. so, so, so to answer that question, I hope that answers the question because it, yeah, it drew me resonance, being more in resonance yes. with myself yes. and my life. That's the balancing yeah. of the temperament that we all have temperament, which is our behavior, our mood, yes. how we respond to the environment, to our relationships and other, and sometimes we're out of tune. And this is all about bringing you back into tune by reflecting back to you what you are so as to, Plunk, pluck that first chord and have the second chord vibrate out or resonate out what shouldn't 
be there? What does it need to be there? So yeah, I think yeah. you really got it there. Yeah, if you if, if I recognize that I was not in harmony, mm -hmm. I was not. If if you can even think to yourself, why are my relationships? Why is there a key relationship out of disharmony, or why does this cycle keep happening? Then you, then and and you're actually not blaming yourself, but you're actually saying, how can I do this better? Yeah. Well, it's accountability, right? How Absolutely. can I how can I shift the pattern that I have been in from my parents, my childhood, my ancestors, my forebearers? It's like this is the evolution of consciousness that we're working on here and now in this life. Yeah. By doing the work, as you put it. How can I not be my ancestors' DNA? How can I not be the, the tears that my mother never cried? Yes. Yes. So you also had mentioned like four distinct type of responses that you had. I'd love to hear you tell mm -hmm. the people that are thinking about doing this program, mm -hmm. what, what happened for you, what you meant by that. Yeah. I jumped in with both feet because if I was going to experience something like this, I wanted to be a benefit to myself, to you in uh, hopefully growing this program and to, to anyone that's listening and watching right now. Um, I jumped in and I thought I'm going to, you know, if it's a 12 week program, I'm going to bust it down from one first week to the fourth week in, in four quarters. And I'm going to take some notes and I thought, how can I best organize my thoughts? Well, if you're in at this office right now and you're drawn to this work and you're drawn to getting in better balance with yourself, then let's bust that down into how is this, how are these subtle ships happening? subtle shifts happening physically how are they happening mentally mm -hmm. how are they happening emotionally and how are they happening spiritually mm -hmm. and so i would take down notes not a lot but i take some notes on what i what i you know first couple of days looking at my bowel movement for example mm -hmm. you know looking at a specific relationship that i'm having difficulty in and I'm talking difficulty in and I, I want there to be a better shift. So that's a relational, mm -hmm. you know, that's the relational emotionally. How are my emotions? How am I feeling? You know, and then obviously spiritual. Am I able to center myself? Am I able to, you know, get in better balance when I can, you know, when I need to, um, if I'm getting pulled off center. So that's how I Engaged on and that. could you say anything about how this helped you just kind of with your thoughts? Like, yeah. you know, we can choose our thoughts or we can be programmed by thought that we learned to think. Did you have any experience in relationship to just kind of day to day? Oh, yeah. Thoughts. Yeah. Well, I think because um, my level of commitment to this was such that I it, Doing something like this is a commitment to myself. I'm actually, what I like to say, say yes to my well-being. So I'm choosing to do this. Therefore, I'm making a commitment to my thoughts, to being aware of my thoughts, mm -hmm. to being aware of my spiritual commitment, mm -hmm. to being aware of my physical commitment, to being aware of my relational commitments. So then it's, it's a great way to, to shed light and illuminate. So what I'm wanting to change. So essentially your experience and you're what almost done now with the 12 week program or yes, I'm on the eighth week. I think so. You're on the eighth week. Yeah. Okay. So your experience thus far has been that it's like a refining of all of those levels, mm -hmm. physical, mental, emotional, spiritual thought, helping you with your self-awareness and helping you shift out of what the, the pieces of yourself that you were essentially trying to metamorphose, you know, not necessarily like ex an, any kind of expectation to like, I want to be changed, but it's right. really about kind of shining the diamond, right? It's about yeah. like yeah, cutting the rough stone and Absolutely. polishing mm -hmm. that person that you ultimately want to be and become and leaving back what you don't want to be and become. Yes, and I think it's a great time to touch on the fact that the more honest I was up front, 
With the questionnaire. With the questionnaire. Yeah. This is super important, everyone. Yes, it, absolutely. The more honest that you can be, to the point that you can be, right? To yeah, the point right. of your awareness or consciousness. Right. It will not, it'll it'll benefit you in such a way that you will actually answer your own questions. That the things that you intend to shed light on, you don't have to really do any work or thought. It actually happens. Right. So that's that's a really good point. And I do now, even when I'm, you know, sitting with a patient and I'm doing this process live with somebody rather than having them fill out the questionnaire, I always, especially like with adolescents, right? Yeah. Get this a lot. So, you know, any parents filling this out with your kid, I would say, look, this is all about finding what resonates with you and right. kind of like the piece of yourself that you really want to change. And right. the more honest you can be with me right. about like those deep, deep, deep truest, most fundamental feelings. And, and in homeopathy, we even call them delusions, but it is like, you know, mm -hmm. we're all in a certain respect, a little bit deluded in thinking mm -hmm. I'm separate from the world or yeah. I've been abandoned or, you know, whatever that kind of fundamental feeling or is. I can't change. Yeah. I can't change so, this. So just, just being really honest really helps me as the practitioner to select the specific correctives, remedies or correctives that we're using to individualize it to that person. So yes, thank you very much for mentioning that. Yes. And then the other thing is that the more honest that you are at the point that you can be about what it is that you want to refine or mm -hmm. a sticking point or why is this cycle happening? Just a whys. It, this process has seemed to open up the deeper issue because my whole thing was I've always been that person of root cause. Mm -hmm. I'm going yeah, yeah. to get, I want to get to the root cause. I don't want to put a bandaid on this anymore. Yeah. I don't want to treat this with traditional pharmacology. I Conventional just, pharmacology. Yeah. We're the traditional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Sorry. So, um, but, uh, so, so to the point that you're honest with yourself at the mm -hmm. time that you're doing this and making a commitment to you and to, to myself and to, and, and to the world at large actually is you will, I have found that I have uncovered the deeper cause of something that I thought was, you, you know, one of the things is what is your biggest fear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that's not, as I found out, that's really not my biggest fear. It goes a little bit deeper than that. So this might not be the end all be all. Absolutely. It's an opening. I did. I Subtle did a whole opening. round myself yeah. and I have the staff is going to fill a whole nother 12 weeks for yeah. me today. So, totally. you know, it's like, oh, I'm noticing this about myself. I think I need that remedy. Yeah. So that's how it goes. Right. It's yeah. just peeling the layers of the onion as we refine ourselves. Yeah. Awesome. So, so right. So just for an, an example, a relationship, I was having some deep, deep, really toxic um, relational experiences. I really wanted to heal that. Um, and it wasn't necessarily about the other person. It was what about me? Is it, you know, what about this is attracting me and pulling me in this direction, saying mm -hmm. the things I say, mm -hmm. feeling the things mm -hmm. I feel. And so um, lo and behold, over the last eight weeks, I've uh, recognized an extraordinary shift, not in the other person, in my stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's all you can change is yourself, right? Stuff, right? right. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you so much, Heather. Oh, you are and so welcome. I mean, I couldn't have like created the right scenario for someone to come in and like say, I really want to help with this because Absolutely. of your capacity to sense and feel and have the experience of something that is subtle yet very profound. Um, yeah, so we'll have some other information that some other people, other patients and folks have described about doing this program and why we want to give that to the world. So thank you. Thank you.